Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors for the given matrix of order 3. As a first step, we have to write the characteristic equation which is A minus lambda i determinant is equal to 0. So this is 7 minus lambda minus 2 0 minus 2 6 minus lambda minus 2 and 0 minus 2 and 5 minus lambda and this we have to put in the determinant and this determinant is equal to 0. Now we are going to expand this. So we will take the first element 7 minus lambda bracket open. We have to expand this one. So 6 y is 30 then minus 6 lambda minus 5 lambda plus lambda square. Then if you multiply these two we get plus 4 but we have to subtract. Then we have to take the second element with minus sign. Already it is minus 2. Now it will become plus 2. Then we have to take these two elements. So minus 10 plus 2 lambda and these two is 0. So minus 0. And last element is anyway 0 and we are equating the entire expression to 0. Now 7 minus lambda. Here we have to do the like terms that is lambda square minus 11 lambda plus 26. And here we will multiply the two inside. So minus 20 plus 4 lambda equal to 0. Now let us expand this. So 7 lambda square minus 77 lambda plus 182. That is 7 into 26. Then minus lambda if you multiply minus lambda cube plus 11 lambda square minus 26 lambda then minus 20 plus 4 lambda equal to 0. Now minus lambda cube. Then we have to group the lambda square term. So we have 2 lambda square term. When we add that we get plus 18 lambda square. Then we have to group the lambda term. So we have 3 lambda term. We get minus 99 lambda and 182 minus 20 which is 162 equal to 0. Now we have to change the sign throughout. So lambda cube minus 18 lambda square plus 99 lambda minus 162 equal to 0. Now we have to solve this using the synthetic division or using the factor theorem first. So let us substitute lambda value. The value which satisfy will be the root of the equation. Let us take 1. So this will become 1 cube is 1 minus 18 plus 99 minus 162. Definitely this is not equal to 0. So this does not satisfy. Now let us take minus 1. So minus 1 cube is minus 1 then minus 18 because minus 1 whole square is 1 then minus 99 minus 162. Again this is a huge negative value not equal to 0. So now let us put 3 sorry 2. So 2 cube then minus 2 square is 4 18 into 4 we get 72 then plus 99 into 2 we get plus 198 minus 162. Now let us simplify this. We get minus 28. So it is not equal to 0. Now let us put minus 2. So this is minus 8. Then minus 72. Minus 198. Minus 162. So definitely this is not equal to 0. The next value we have to substitute lambda equal to 3. 3 cube 27 minus 18 into 3 square. 3 square is 9. So 18 into 9. We get minus 162. Then plus 99 into 3. This is 297 and minus 162. After simplifying this, we get 0. So when this value satisfies the equation and this is one of the root. Therefore, one value of lambda is 3. Now we are going to use the synthetic division to get the quadratic expression. So we will take all the coefficients 1 minus 18. So 1 minus 18. Then we have 99 and minus 162. 
99 minus 162. So we have to use this value 3. We have to always put 0. We have to add this. We have to multiply 3 into 1. Write it here, which is minus 15. Then we have to multiply these two. 3 into minus 15. So we get minus 45. We have to simplify this. This gives 54. 54 into 3 is 162. So we get 0. Then the remaining expression, we have to write it as a quadratic form. Lambda square minus 15 lambda plus 54 equal to 0. Here product is 54, sum is minus 15. So the factors are lambda minus 6 into lambda minus 9. So when I expand this, we get back this equation. So from this, the values of lambda are 6 and 9 and already we got lambda as 3. Therefore, the eigenvalues which we got for lambda are 3, 6 and 9. So we completed the first part of the question. We found the eigenvalues. Now for each value of lambda, we have to find the eigenvector. Let's take x1. Let x1 be eigenvector corresponding to the lambda value 3. So we will take x1 as x1, x2, x3. This is a column matrix. Now we have to take a minus lambda i matrix and multiply this x1 equal to 0. Already a minus lambda i we have it in the determinant form. Let's take this here and put it as a matrix. With this we have to multiply x1, x2, x3 matrix and we have to equate this to 0. Now we will be multiplying the first row elements with the first column elements correspondingly in the same way other rows also. But before this we have to substitute the value of lambda which is 3 in this case. So this will become 4 minus 2 0 then minus 2 then 6 minus 3 is 3 then minus 2 0 minus 2 5 minus 3 is 2 and let's take the other matrix as it is x1 x2 x3 and we equate this to 0. So now let's proceed the multiplication of these two matrix by multiplying the elements of the first row and the first column correspondingly. So we get 4x1 minus 2x2 plus 0x3 equal to 0. Then minus 2x1 plus 3x2 minus 2x3 equal to 0. Then 0x1 minus 2x2 plus 2x3 equal to 0. From this, let's take any two equation and use a cross multiplication method. So now I will take the first two equation x1 by take the coefficients of x2 and x3 and write it as a determinant. Then x2. Let's write the coefficient of x3, 0 and minus 2, then x1 coefficient, 4, minus 2. Then equate to x3. And now let's write the coefficient of x1, which is 4, minus 2, and x2, minus 2, and 3. And we have to evaluate this. This is x1 by, this is 4 minus 0, which is 4. Then x2 by, this is 0 plus 8 and this is x3 by 12 minus 4. When I multiply it is plus 4 but anyway we have to subtract. So therefore x1 by 4 equal to x2 by 8 equal to x3 by 8. We have to take the simplest ratio. By dividing all these number by 4 we get 1 and this is 2 and this also 2. Therefore, the eigenvector corresponding to the lambda value 3 is 1, 2, 2. 
Now let's take x to be the eigenvector corresponding to lambda 6. And let's take x2 as x1, x2, x3, a column matrix. And we have to take a minus lambda i matrix into x2 equal to 0. Now a minus lambda i, the whole matrix and x2 equal to 0 we have written. In this place, the value of lambda 6 we have to substitute. So when I substitute lambda 6, the first element will become 1. Minus 2, 0. Minus 2, 0. Minus 2, 0. Minus 2. And this will become minus 1. So this matrix into x1, x2, x3 equal to 0. Now we are going to multiply the first row with the first column, all the corresponding elements in the same way, even the other rows to get the equations. So now this is x1 minus 2x2 plus 0x3 equal to 0. In the same way, second row minus 2x1 plus 0x2 minus 2x3 equal to 0. Then 0x1 minus 2x2 minus x3 equal to 0. Now from this, let's take any two equation. Now we are going to consider the first two equation. Use cross multiplication method to find x1, x1, x3. So x1 by, take the coefficients of x2 which is minus 2 then 0. Then coefficient of x3 which is 0 and minus 2. And this is a determinant. In the same way, we have to write x2. Then we have to take the coefficients of x3, which is 0 minus 2. Then coefficient of x1, which is 1 minus 2. And its determinant value then equal to x3 by coefficient of x1, which is 1 minus 2. Then coefficient of x2, which is minus 2 and 0. Now we have to evaluate this. This is x1 by 4 and this is x2 by 2 and third part is x3 by 0 minus 4. So when we divide the denominator by 2, we get the simplest ratio which is 2, 1 and minus 2. So we got the eigenvector x2 corresponding to lambda 6 which is 2, 1 minus 2. In the same way, let's take x3 be the eigenvector corresponding to the lambda value 9 and we have to take x3 as x1, x2 and x3 and we have to write the matrix A minus lambda i into x3 equal to 0. When we substitute the matrix, we get it in this form and here we have to substitute the value of lambda as 9. So this will become minus 2, minus 2, 0, then minus 2, then minus 3, minus 2, then 0, minus 2, 5, minus 9, minus 4. This matrix into we have x1, x2, x3 and we equate this to 0. Now usual multiplication by taking the first row multiplied with the first column all the corresponding elements so minus 2x1 minus 2x2 plus 0x3 in the same way other two rows minus 2x1 minus 3x2 minus 2x3 equal to 0 then 0x1 minus 2x2 minus 4x3 equal to 0. Now we have to take any two equation. Let's take the first two equation. Use the cross multiplication method to find the values of x1, x2 and x3. Now this is x1 divided by let's write the coefficient of x2 then coefficient of x3 and this is a 2 by 2 determinant which is equal to x2 by and we have to write the coefficient of x3 then coefficient of x1. This is a 2 by 2 determinant and equal to x3 by and we have to write the coefficient of x1 then coefficient of x2 and we have to evaluate this determinant. So the first part is x1 by 4 then second part is x2 by 
minus 4 because this is 0 minus of 4. When I multiply it is 4, we have to subtract so it is minus 4. Now x3 by this is minus 6, then when I multiply it is plus 4, but anyway we have to subtract. Sorry, this is minus 3. So this is 6 minus when I multiply it is 4, we have to subtract so minus 4. So totally we get x1 by 4 equal to x2 by minus 4 equal to x3 by 2. When we reduce it to the simplest to ratio, that is dividing all the numbers by 2, we get this is 2 minus 2 and this is 1. Therefore, we got the eigenvector x3 elements are 2 minus 2 and 1. So, we got the 3 eigenvalues and corresponding 3 eigenvectors.